Another five-minute mystery. Mr. Minton, how are you? Well, hello, Joe. You're going to take a nice Turkish bath in the steam room, Mr. Minton? Yeah. Look at that fat, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a towel. Uh, you like a massage after me? No, maybe? no, I haven't time. Say, is old man Wallace in there getting steam? I said I'd meet him. Yeah, yeah, he must be plenty hot by now. There's five or six customers in there. Oh, I'll open the door for you, Mr. Minton. Oh, thanks, Joe. Uh, call me in ten minutes. Sure, sure. Let me see. Mr. Turner said I should call him in 15 minutes. Mr. Wallace said that... What's the matter? Steam pipe broke, maybe? Somebody getting burnt? What's the matter in there? You got trouble? Who screamed? Oh, the poor man Wallace has just been stabbed to death. He's been stabbed in the back. Well, George, you find anything? Uh, there's still a lot of steam in that room, Chief, but I searched it thoroughly. There's no knife anywhere. Ceiling, floor, walls... And yet Wallace was stabbed. There's no doubt about it. Mm. And what's worse, the room was so thick with steam, no one saw the murderer do it. Uh, what about the men that were in there? I searched them thoroughly, Chief. Nothing but this collection of towels. Uh, Joe, uh, did you see anyone go into that steam room with anything but a towel in his hands? You were standing right here at the door all the time. No, sir, Chief. Just towels and maybe a toothbrush. Toothbrush? Yeah, a toothbrush with a little black case. After the murder, Mr. Minter handed it to me as he came out of the steam room and told me to put it in his locker, but I didn't have time. Uh, here it is, right uh, here. Let's see. Yeah, toothbrush, all right. Good solid plastic tube with a top to put it in. You couldn't stab a man. Wait a minute. This holder. George, quick. Get Minton in here. Right. I'm going to look in that steam room once more, but now I know what I'm looking for. Uh, Mr. Minton, would you please get a robe on? The chief would like to see you in here a minute. Well, I'm glad to talk to the chief any time, but I'm sure I've told him all I know about this thing. Hey, here's the chief now. Oh, hello, Mr. Minton. Just a couple of questions more. Is this your toothbrush and case? What? Why, Joe, I, I thought I told you... It to... is yours, and you had it with you in that steam room when Wallace was killed. Minton, I'm arresting you for the murder of James Wallace. Do you know how Minton killed James Wallace in the steam room of a Turkish bath? The chief will explain his deductions in just a moment. In the meantime... chief to tell you how James Wallace was killed. The method used was most unusual. When we think of stabbing, we think of knives. But no ordinary knife killed James Wallace. It was a disappearing knife. Ah, uh, how could a knife disappear, chief? It's impossible. Not if the knife were made of dry ice. Minturn's toothbrush holder was a plastic mold in the shape of a dagger. In it, he carried into that steam room a dagger made of dry ice, withdrew it from the mold at the proper moment, and stabbed Wallace. He counted on it dissolving in the steam before it was discovered. I found a piece of it giving off its own form of steam in one corner of the steam room. Minturn killed Wallace and almost got away with a perfect crime if the murder weapon had disappeared. 